Okay, Karen, so I figured the easiest way to do this was to actually make a video for you to follow along with, upload it to YouTube, which hopefully at this point you're there and watching this video. So here's how it works. You'll notice on the console here, it's the exact same console you've got at home. You've got up the very right, upper right hand corner, 10.22 a.m. It says 2.13, so that's February 13th. It's not showing the year because it's not feeling necessary apparently on this console. So, we want to go into edit mode because we've decided that the time on your uh, console is incorrect. And if it's, if it's correct, then we need to figure out what, why it's uh, doing what it's doing. But I think that the time on your console is incorrect and we need to change it. And most likely even the date might even be incorrect as well. So here's how we change it. This is what we're going to do. You notice on the right side of the console, you get all these buttons. So what I want you to do is we look at the done button. That's what we need to look at. And you notice in the bottom right, you've got a plus, a minus, a right, and a left button. So you're going to be dealing with all four of these buttons. The done, the plus, the minus, the right, and the left. Those are the only four buttons we're going to be using here. So the first step is you push and hold down the down button. So I'm pushing and holding the down button. Now at the very bottom, the minus button, I push once. And then I let go, and it goes into a mode here. Now you'll notice at the very bottom left it says receiving from. That's not what we need. So we push the done button. Now it says on ISS in parentheses. We don't need that either. So we push done again. And now it says retransmit off. Again, we're not worrying about that. So you push the done button. Now this is the third time we push the done button once we've kind of gotten to this mode. And now it says enter time. So this is where we need to change the time. And you'll notice the 10 in the upper right hand corner is blinking. That's the time. That's the hour. And in order to change that, you know, common sense, right? Up, we'll put the number up. Down, we'll put the number down. You'll also notice it says AM right here. If it's PM, if it's the time that you're making this change, you need to make sure that it says PM. So you keep pushing up whatever time you need for a.m. or p.m. so make sure it's the a.m. and p.m. is proper so of course it's 10 a.m. here that I'm doing this and then if I want to change the minute I push the right button there's the right button I push it now the minute numbers are blinking it's 1023 right now so I need to change the minute but to give you an idea down will bring it down the positive button will bring it up now if the date is incorrect you just need to push the right button again, and that'll take you to the month, which is 2, February. So up, down, up, down, whatever you need to change the date. Then you take, push it to the right for the day of the month. Today is the 13th. If it happens to be the 14th or 15th that you're doing this, just push the up button, and it'll bring it up to the 15th. Or if you need to bring it down, use the minus button. Now you'll notice big numbers here. It says 2013. That's for the year. So, of course, we need to make sure the year is right. If the year is improper on yours, and all we do at this point is push the right arrow, and now the 2013 is blinking. And again, same concept. Plus or minus will bring it up or down, whatever you need. So, at this point, you're done. You can see that the 1023, that's the proper time. The date, that's, and of course, AM. We want to make sure it's AM or PM, whatever time of the day it is, whenever you're doing this. The month. 2 is February, the day, the 13th, is the day of the month, and of course the year, which is now blinking, is 2013. We are now done changing the date and time. It's that simple. Now, all we need to do at this point, and this is the last step, again, very simple, hold down the done button for about three seconds. One, two, three. Bam. I'm done. You see how it goes back into its mode? Everything's up and running and beautiful and we are now done with changing the date and time. Hopefully this video helps and the beauty of it is if you miss a step all you have to do is rewind on your computer and you can watch it over and over again until you're hundred percent comfortable. Hope this helps and hopefully you can actually do this uh, while you're watching the video. Alright, bye bye now.